Rock when he came over, not far from here, to the Claire Ballroom in Arlington to do an event for Ben Rock's running for governor. Arlington, Fairfax. I think it's the real thing. I don't know. I mean, these guys are talking. I mean, you know, I mean, it's where the Pentagon is, which got attacked on 9 11. How dare they say that's not the real Virginia, that's the communist part of Virginia. Like John McCain said, the Pentagon, Arlington, where John McCain lives, you know, in one of his houses now, but where John McCain has his national campaign headquarters, this is the not the real Virginia. When Brock came over for me, we did an event at the Clarendon Ballroom, and we realized something in about five minutes. We were just sitting on trade stories. Brock's mother is from the same town that my mother's from. El Dorado, Kansas. You know, we've all been feeling for Brock because he's out with his grandmother, who's very, very ill. Uh, Ms. Don is from a little town called Augusta, Kansas, and his grandfather's from El Dorado, Kansas. My mom's from El Dorado, and Augusta was a town eight miles away where we used to drive with my grandmother to get Sunday supper in this little place that she lived. These are communities I know very well. Agriculture, factory work, grandmother worked in the Bowen plant over in uh, Wichita during the war. Basic, strong American values, value family, value faith, value hard work. And when we realized that we both had roots in this little Kansas farm town, it struck up a good relationship. And we got to be friends. And uh, when he called me in you know, late 06 and said, I'm thinking about running for president, I said, if you run, I'll back you. He said, well, here, let me make my pitch first. I said, you don't have to make my pitch. I've gotten to know you. I saw you campaign for me. I saw you campaign for Jim Webb. I've gotten to know some things about you, and I want to support you for a couple of reasons, and I also think you can win. The first one is, my sense was, when I got on board, that Americans were tired of mediocrity. And that's what we're getting. And that's what the chair of the folks in the White House, we're tired of it. We're tired of a government that can't respond to a hurricane. We're tired of a government that can't manage an economy. We're tired of a government that misrepresents to the American people a rationale for war and then can't manage a war when we're in it. We're putting our best and brightest out there. And when they're trying to manage it, it's a political we have by making more about politics rather than about the national interest. And so we're tired of mediocrity. And I want excellence again. And Barack Obama has excellence of education. He has excellence of judgment. Hey, this is a guy who could have gone anywhere to Wall Street or anywhere else when he got out of Columbia and Harvard Law School. But he said, I want to go work in neighborhoods of Southside Chicago where plants have closed down. Con familias que tienen tiempos muy difíciles. Families that are hurting, I want to sit at the kitchen table and go to the church basement and walk the neighborhood and try to tell them there may not be a silver bullet, but we're going to get through this together. I want a guy in the White House right now who grew up that way and who's been there with people who are hurt, because we got people who are in this country and they need a president who understands what they're going through. We know he's the right guy. We've got to help him win, and we got to push it over the top. Now, I'll close and say this. It's looking good in Virginia. Right? It's looking good in Virginia. It, 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 I mean, who knows? Who, who knows? You know, even over the summer, he was down, but now the average of pools has him up six or seven points. Some pools will be two or three, some pools will be more. But I got to tell you this. I got to tell you this. We haven't done this for 44 years, so we're the underdog. I don't care what any poll says. When you haven't got electoral votes behind a Democratic candidate since 1964, you climb the mountain. We can see the top, but we're not at the top. We are still the underdog in this race. We know they're going to pull stunts, tricks, and all kinds of BS in the last 10 days to try to get this thing to go their way. And so we cannot rest. We cannot stop. We cannot slow down. we got to push harder. we got to push longer. we got to push harder. It'll get to be election night. And you know what election nights are usually like in Virginia? You know, we know the way Virginia's going to go. So we, you know, we, we work hard. We do our bit. Then the Virginia vote comes in. And look, we gotta wait till Central Time. And then we gotta wait till Mountain Time. And then we gotta wait till Pacific Time. And then sometimes Hawaii time to figure out who the next president is. Hey, I'm on Eastern Time election. <laughs> Barack Obama can be president without Virginia. But if Barack Obama gets Virginia, there's yeah. no way 